So the one I'm looking at is on page 30, 132 and I'm looking at the blue box on the right hand side. So I'm going to go menu and I'm going to go stats, which is option two. And then in here, I'm going to put the outcome of two and the outcome of seven. And then here I'm going to be the probability of outcome two is 0 0.2 and the probability of outcome seven is 0 0.8. I then go calc and set, and with set, my frequency is my probability. It needs to be in list two. Okay, so now if I go one var, I get the mean of six, which is agreeing with the answers in the book, and I've got my standard deviation of two, which is also the answer in the book. Okay, and if I go down, I get other information. I don't think I've got the variance there. I actually have to square it. Okay, so if you look at number one on the next page, so I use the exit button, and if I come up here, I'm going to have the outcomes as 2, 5, 8, 11, 14, oh. and the probability of them happening is 0 0.07, 0 0.23, 0 0.34, 0 0.26, and 0 0.1. And then I go one var, I've already done the set thing. So who got the mean of 8.27? Yep, and the standard deviation of 3.23. Yep, so this was a lot quicker than doing it manually. However, for excellence, it might be algebraic that you have to do it manually. Okay?